Hello and welcome to my new series of If I Die, I Switch. My goal is to play every animal in the aisle since there are a lot of animals I've never played or haven't played much of. I will be starting at the top of each list, going from herbivore to carnivore to omnivore and then back through again. First up we have the Dibble. This is one I've never played before and I'm completely new to the mechanics. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. With the new random spawn locations, I got lucky and spawned right inside of a migration zone. Not sure how often that happens, since this is the first time playing the new update. I sniffed out some S diet pretty quickly and headed towards it to fill my belly. Knowing that I am in highlands, there's usually quite a few predators lurking about, so I'm a little wary. I sniffed around for a line diet so I can get a perfect diet, but I didn't see any, so I decided to go with one dot and two S instead, which will give me a pretty good diet. With my food and water now good, I decided I better test out the mechanics to be sure I could defend myself if needed. I quickly learned I didn't know how the mechanics worked and would need to do a quick search to figure them out. I didn't want to draw attention to myself by trying to figure them all out on my own, so I headed off to find a nice place to hunker down for the rest of the night and try not to be seen. I found this cozy little spot by a rock, however, I felt a little too noticeable on this side of it. Ah, now that's more like it. I hid myself in the tall brush and bedded down for the night. I stayed in that brush for a while while I figured out how the dibble mechanics worked and picked out my first mutation. I went with the one that gives you a little water when you eat. The less I need to drink, the better. It's time to test out what I learned. Easy enough. For those that are also not sure how to get into the sparring mechanics and movement, just use the control button on your keyboard. No need to hold it down. I know there is also a way to go into just a defense stance where you can't fight at the same time, but I'm not sure how to go into that one yet. So if you know, please post it in the comments. I headed off to get some breakfast. My water was starting to drain, so I knew I needed to start heading for water. I don't like drinking at the lake near here, since there are usually some pretty big dinos just waiting to launch themselves out of the water to snatch you and drown you. I know of a little pond not far away that I usually go to instead. However, it's been a while since I played. With the new update, I wasn't sure what all changed landscape-wise, if anything. It was also pouring rain, making it harder for me to recognize things. I knew one thing, though. I didn't remember there being a path where I needed to be. I could hear a Dilo call out, 
the last thing I wanted to hear, especially since I probably needed to be on the other side where they were. I hid in a bush to think about where I was and what to do to get past the dilos. With my water continuing to drain, I knew I just needed to get going. Heading in the direction of the dilocals made me nervous, as it should. I don't have much chance against them at this size. I tried to use the brush to the best of my ability, trying to stay as hidden as possible. Until, of course, I seen some food. Just like a dog seeing a squirrel, I decided filling up my stomach again was a good idea since it was a little bit of a trek to the pond. Since my dot diet was doing better than my S diet, I opted for the S diet instead. One bite later, totally worth it. I continued on my way, knowing I was going to have to cross over the big path going through the middle of Highlands, putting me out in the open, easy for the Dilos to see, or any other predators for that matter. I made a run for it, trying to get back into the brush as quickly as possible. I'm still pretty small, so I wouldn't be able to hold my ground much against any predators that are more grown than me. Thankfully, I seem to have made it safely across. So far, so good. I start noticing all of the tall trees, wondering if they've always been in this area. I don't remember there being so many, and begin wondering if there are any Herreras around. I'm also not recognizing what I need to be seeing, to be sure I'm heading in the right direction. I'm hoping, once I make it to the top, it'll look more familiar. I continue making my way towards where I think I need to be going. I hear other dibbles in the area and consider grouping up. I decide against it for now though since I usually die pretty quick when I group up with others. Too noisy. And a lot of dibble players like to play aggressively, whereas I'd like to just play as a Herbie should and defend myself if needed. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I wonder if the landscape has changed since the update. I head to the next high point. Maybe I'll recognize something that will help me from there. I've been in this area many times before. I gotta recognize something, right? Still nothing familiar. I must be all sorts of turned around. If only the rain would stop and things would lighten up so I could actually see all of the landscape and know exactly where I was. The smart thing to do would have been to hide in a bush and check the aisle map, but no, I didn't do that. I've been in this area plenty of times. I'll figure it out. Famous last words. At this point, my water is at half, and I decide I'm just going to go to the lake and risk a drink there. I also notice I am in the new patrol zones, which I've heard are specific to your species, so apparently you can go there to find others of your kind. Not sure if it has anything to do with food or not. I smell around for a possible water icon on the scent bar, instead picking up more dot diet. Might as well top that off again. Sniffing around again for water, I notice a chicken icon, meaning something died in that direction. Let's not go that way. I find a ravine and decide to try and stay hidden in it. Not entirely sure where it's taking me. Ooh, 
geez, that was steeper than I thought it was, and luckily I didn't break a leg. You know, I'm pretty sure a double in real life would easily be able to traverse this. I, however, was not getting over it. I made my way back up to higher ground to see where I was, only to see a path I didn't recognize either. I began to question, how well do I really know the Highlands area? Obviously not that well. It's too steep to get down here, so I turned to go around. Uh-oh, potato stuck in a tree! Woo, there we go. I decided to follow the path back in, still keeping to the brush to stay as hidden as possible. Okay, back in the main area and I start recognizing stuff again. Distracted by food again, I did get that mutation that gives a little water as you eat though, so, you know, excuses. I hear another dibble call out, and hear something going on in the brush. I wonder if the dillos are attacking another dibble, and stand there like a dum-dum, trying to see if I need to be a hero or get out of there. I figure they are already engaged in a fight, so I'm not too worried about it, forgetting I'm on an official server and anything goes here. I finally get a glimpse of what the Dylas are after and also get bitten as they run by. Obviously, I look tastier and easier than whatever they were chasing. The venom kicked in quick. Thankfully, I remembered my sparring mechanics and was happy I took the time to look them up. Not that I had much hope in winning this fight. I knew that I had seen more than one Dilo. However, this one seemed to be the only one really attacking, so I just focused on them for now. Still new to the mechanics and trying to figure out my timing, the hallucinations were really messing with me too and got me all sorts of disoriented. I had a chance here as I knocked the Dilo down, but their friend distracted me from finishing the job. At least, I'm pretty sure that one was real. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Next, I'll be playing a Carno, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see how that goes. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, bye bye